what's going on? Um, where are my manners? I'm actually, um, so I'm just going to do like a, a, an install, show you guys, and I didn't. So, <laughs> so here's part two of the video. Uh, here's the UAD2, I got the solo, uh, solo core. Uh, and the way the new the new cards are set up, and I'm just opening this now for the first time. Um, with the uh, the way the new cards are set up, the uh, the cards are actually uh, whereas on the old UAD uh, UAD two UAD one cards, excuse me, there was a DSP processor chip that handled all the uh, processing for all the plugins that you ran from Universal Audio. They ran off of the card instead of running off your PC. Well, with the new platform, the UAD2, they still have the same the same principle. They'll have a, a, a DSP chip on the, the cards, but what they've in their these DSPs are actually two and a half times more powerful than the previous one. So basically, this solo one, which has one processor chip on it, is essentially the equivalent of two and a half of the old UAD1 cards, which had you know a, a lesser powerful um, uh, processor chip. So um, my plan is to get uh, a duo, excuse me, a solo, which is one processor, and a duo, which is two processor chips, uh, which would be the equivalent of uh, five for the duo of the UAD1 cards, and two and a half of the, uh, uh, two and a half of, uh, for the solo, which would be this one here. So with a duo and a solo in my computer, I would have essentially the equivalent of seven and a half UAD1 cards. Um, that's, I guess, how the math works out. And now they also have a quad, which is the equivalent of like 10 UAD1 cards in terms of processing power in one card. And then they recently, I mean, not too, not, not too long ago at all, they just came out with a um, uh, Octo, which is eight, eight processor chips on, on the card. So it's basically double the quad. So you're looking at like 20 uh, UAD1. And that's a lot of processing power. I guess if you're running like a gazillion tracks and want to use those heavy, intense reverbs and stuff, um, then that's what you'd need. So anyway, just open it up out of the box and uh, just open it up. Because I guess technically this makes it an unboxing. Got a README first, uh, UAD powered plugins information. And I mean, it's basically for registration, plugin authorization. It's got information on where you're going to find your user manual, video documentation, that sort of thing. This is a big ass catalog. Look at this. Universal Audio, a big catalog. Um, and then get your, of course, your. I paid all this money for foam because foam is important in your in your recording. Actually, I hang it up on the wall. There you go. Right. Um, and then all this hoopla, ladies and gentlemen, for a card that is, I mean look at it, it's like freaking small. Um, and then I've got the, uh, hold on, this is the actual, I guess, software for the disc, uh, software for the plugins and the, you know, software and the, you know, um, but there's the card, okay, and here's a CD. The CD is actually, actually larger than the card, the card is real small. Which is good because this way you won't have much interference as far as, far as um, um, ventilation inside your computer. Because those really, really large cards impede airflow through your computer for cooling. And if you're running a DAW for, for recording and, and so forth, cooling is important because if you have impedances and blockages in your airflow, it's going to cause your computer to run hotter, which then if you have an auto temp sensing uh, setup, in, in the BIOS or whatever, then it's going to cause your fans to, to spin up faster. And when they spin up faster, guess what? They make a little bit more noise. And noise is not good. Unless you're rock and metal! Anyway, sorry. I got carried away. Um, anyway, so I'm going to pull the card out here and uh, try and touch metal to make sure I'm grounded before I touch anything on the, on the card. And this is a UAD2 solo card. Actually, it's upside down. And you got a little right there on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this in my computer. Oh, look, they got like a little light now. I guess it lights up whenever the computer's on it. I'll find that out. And a processing chip that they use is Analog Devices. It's a Shark processor. S H A R C. Um, and again, this is a solo, so it has the the one core on it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the computer and I'll be back in a sec.